Module 5.1 The System Builder Trainer Switching in More Detail Welcome to Module 5.1 of your Proform Professional Training Course. In Module 2.4 we touched on querying trainer switches. In this module we will look at this in more depth. So we've got Proform open and we'll open the System Builder. And first of all, we'll make more space on the screen by hiding the buttons and moving the slider wrong. So we've got more space. And we're going to look at trainer switching, first and second switches for trainers, which is on the Horse 2 tab. So the first thing to do is restrict the form to just look at the last five years. If we don't do that, then we'd get trainers um, who are not training anymore and their record with switches, which um, is irrelevant. So we just look at five years form and we're always going to be presenting by trainer. So we choose trainer in the presentations. And initially we're going to look at when it's the first run for a trainer. But we're not just going to look at all the data, we're going to restrict it by various parameters. So in this first instance, we're going to look at where the horse on its last race ran in a selling race. But then on this race, it's the first run for a new trainer. So we'll run this system. And it quickly pulls back all the trainers. And then we'll sort it by number of winners to start with. So you can see up at the top we've got Tim Vaughan. And 29 times he's picked up an horse from a seller. And 11 of those times on its first run for him, it's won. For a 30, nearly 38% strike rate. And a profit at SP and Betfair SP. And there's various good trainers down there. And these give you a good starting point to have a look at these particular trainers. Let's take David Evans, for instance. And we can double click and see these results. And it's back to 2008 because we did five years. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the most recent ones. And uh, he's uh, on the 12th of September, Zing Wing. 1 at 7 to 1. And if we just confirm the parameters by going into the horse's form and we look at this is where it switched trainer. So it was with Paul Cole. He came second in the cellar, moved to David Evans and he then won with it at 7 to 1. So we go back to the system builder. So let's do the same thing again. We're still on first run for new trainer. But let's now change to claiming races. Run the system. So this is claim as last time out. And then it's switch stables. And again, David Evans has a good record with these two. And there's a few of our trainers thrown up there that are worth looking into. And we can, once again, double click into the full record of David Evans. Scroll to the bottom, see the most recent ones. So in September, we had Queen Agate at Chester. And if we have a look at that form again. And there we go, it ran in a claiming race, which it won at Wolverhampton. Moved to David Evans and won again straight after. So we'll go back into the system builder again. And this time we'll look at a slightly different angle. So we'll just go back to the last time out classifications. And we'll turn them all back on. And what we're going to do this time is we're not going to look at a, a particular type of race other than handicaps and non handicaps. So we'll do it ran in a non handicap last time out. But this time it's in an handicap. 
and it's the first run for the trainer. So we'll run this system again. Look at the winners again. So Tim Barnes got a good record with these. So these are when it was in a non handicap last time out. And it switched stables and on its first run he ran it in an handicap. And we can confirm as parameters again by going in and having a look at one of the most recent winners, which is uh, this one in 2010. Then we can see there it was a maiden hurdle before it switched to Tim Bourne and he ran it in a conditional jockey's handicap chase and won and actually won with it the next time out as well. Then if we go back to the system builder again, now we'll just flip those now. So this time we're looking at handicap last time out and non handicap this time out. Run that again. Then we can see Tim Bourne has got a good record doing it that way around as well and, and Nicky Anderson's got a decent one too and there's plenty of trainers to have a look at there. So for the last example we're going to look at horses that ran on the flat last time out and this first time for the new stable switched to jump racing as well as switching stables. So we've, we'll set this one up from the beginning again so you can see exactly what we do. So we've reset the variables. So we go to the date tab. We only want to look at last five years. We're presenting by trainer. We're looking at the first run for a new trainer. We're looking at last time out. It ran on the flat. So turf or all weather race types. And this time out, it's run on the jumps, chase, hurdle, or national and flat races. And we'll sort by the winners. And we can see John Ferguson's got a very good record. 36% strike rate when he gets horses from the flat and runs them over the jumps for the first time. And we have a look at that one in detail. He's had one winner this this year so far, which was Whispering Gallery. If we uh, have a look at the horse's form, we can see it was uh, Syed Bin Sarah before moving to John Ferguson and winning first time out. With a little imagination, there are plenty of parameters you could choose to look at first and second switches. And there's plenty of trainers who, under the right conditions, pick up the horses and improve them for the first or second run. Well that's the end of module 5.1. Horse switching stables can be a very profitable angle. Spend some time researching and you will reap the rewards.